Volunteering in Chichester Harbour has always been part of harbour life. Um, when the early days was the Sussex Ornithological Society who helped look after some of the um, habitats around the harbour which are important for birds. Uh, fairly soon after Philip Couchman was appointed as amenity officer, the Chichester Conservation Volunteers were formed and they did a massive amount of work, tree planting and other kinds of habitat management and footpath work and so on. But come the late 80s, it appeared that we were going to need a sort of more coordinated approach to voluntary work. So it seemed appropriate to try to constitute a, a friends of group. I'd seen these happening in sort of for hospitals and museums and other, other kinds of sites. And I thought, well, you know, Chichester Harbour, people do like it. It does have friends. Can we harness this and can we make a more focused um, way of of letting volunteers become involved and to try to encourage more people to do so and to give some sort of purpose to it. So um, I and various others, particularly Martin Beale, who had, I don't think he, he wasn't still chairman of the Conservancy, but he had been and he was one of the far, founding fathers of the Conservancy. Um, we sort of could see the point of, of setting up a friend and he was very helpful in the sort of practicalities of it. So. Um, in, at that time, we decided we'd go for it, and we put adverts out and said, you know, if you're interested in becoming part of a, a, a friends group for Chichester Harbour, come to a meeting. And we had it in the old, dilapidated Age Concern Hall in Southbourne, which has now changed, um, and uh, lots of people came. And we, we set up the friends, and it was indeed a, a focus for the volunteers. In the early days, it was really geared towards practical voluntary help. But very soon it caught on amongst the boat owners and I think it was that that it, it suddenly grew hugely. It got publicity when the, um, the letters get sent out to boat owners to play for their harbour dues and people were encouraged to join or make donations or both and that's what's happened. So since the, the, all the start it's grown hugely and has now become the um, influential and practical organisation it now is supporting the Harbour Conservancy with a massive amount of funding, still very strong on its volunteer uh, side. They have practical work parties which are increasingly successful. I think they get more people now than they did when I was in charge, which is great. And it's become very much a force working in partnership with the Conservancy and indeed the, the more recently formed Harbour Trust to ensure um, support both practical and financial for Harbour projects, the AONB and the environment, and everything that we all know and love about the harbour.